as far as I'm concerned, from government, from the party, ruling party position, we have no intention of suppressing these freedoms. Absolutely not. None at all. Twice every month, Prime Minister Amama Mbavazi takes questions from the public and journalists on Twitter. It is through this online interaction that Mbabazi, who is also the Secretary General of the ruling NRM party, advised the opposition to abide by the law when holding public meetings. Don't hold public meetings in a marketplace because you are violating the rights of those who want to use the market. First of all, to, to do business, to sell their tomatoes, or those who go to buy those things. Why, do you, why don't you go to Kololo or Nambole or Nachivo Stadium or something like that? This week alone, police and opposition leaders engaged in running battles in what has been dubbed as the Battle for Kampala. In enjoyment of their freedom of assembly, Babaz says the opposition should work with those in charge of keeping law and order in the country. It is their constitutional mandate, police. To maintain peace, please simply inform them that you intend to hold a meeting in place X on this date and at that time so that they are able even to uh, ensure that you exercise your rights. Babas also answered the question is on how the ruling NRM party is handling the succession plan without being direct on how the president will leave power. Baba says succession is a constitutional matter. The constitution is very clear. Every five years we hold elections, both in the parties that we lead and in the country eventually when it comes to determining who is to lead the country and the people participate. The Prime Minister also answered the question is on employment, tourism, the management of Lake Victoria, among others. Agnes Nandutu. NTV Weekend Edition.